Hello everybody, Flame and Shark back with another video, and today we're going to be jumping into episode 2 of Arcane. I believe the title was Some Mysteries Are Better Left Unsolved. Long title, but it does actually tell a story in the title. Um, the first episode was really good. i not like completely blown away yet, but it was really solid. I uh, wouldn't be surprised if, if, if it just gets better from here, but uh, it was a very good introduction. It introduced us to uh, their world. There was the top, the bottom. I wrote down the lanes. I believe the lanes is like kind of like what the world was referred to, like the bottom, like where uh, Vi and Powder and Vander and Milo and all of them live. Uh, I didn't get the, my only issue, my only mistake with my notes, I didn't get the name of the big dude. Um, yeah, because I got the other three members of the squad. I got Vi, I got Powder, I got Milo, but I didn't get the name of the other guy. Um, and yeah, I'm really excited for this. Um, yeah, I rewatched the dude. The other thing that's so stupid too is that because I actually did rewatch episode one. Uh, a couple hours after I watched it. Uh, this is the next night, by the way. It's about 24 hours from when I recorded episode one. And um, so uh, technically it's it's Sunday morning, but really it's Saturday night, a little after midnight, November 28th, I guess. Yeah, 28th? Yes, 28th. 28th? Yes, 28th. <laughs> Double check here. Um, but I, uh, 2021, by the way. Uh, since, since this will probably, yeah, these will probably release in early 2022, so it'll be a little while, but, uh, I'm definitely looking forward to seeing, like, where this goes. I'm curious to learn more about Vi and Powder. Um, you know, Vi is obviously the main character. Powder, obviously, is very important as well. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm curious to, obviously, like I said, from like the tiny bit of knowledge I have about this series, I still am suspicious that Powder is Jinx. But if she is, I would... If she is, there has to be a time skip at some point. Because if she is Jinx, there's no way they would do a story about Jinx and have her be a little kid the whole time. Um, because I know what her design looks like. And... I'm struggling a little bit to imagine this girl, to imagine Powder turning into Jinx. Like, I, I'm struggling a little bit because I've seen, like, a tiny... Like, I've seen Fanner, and she, like I said, I don't really know her, but from everything I've seen and my very limited understanding, she's, like, a fucking psychopath in, like, a, in an endearing way, but, like, what the fuck? So I'm very unsure so far... I, I'm very, I'm doubting myself. I'm, I'm starting to wonder if there's just multiple blue haired bitches. Uh, and I, I think even if powder is not jinx, I still think she's going to grow up. I still think there's a time skip coming. And even if, even if she is just powder, she's going to be something. She's going to be a badass. I expect that. Because I feel like... Because they have built up her whole thing with her, like, grenades that she's working on. She's obviously, like, a tinker, essentially. So, I am curious to see how that plays out. Uh, Vi is probably my favorite character so far. It's hard not to love her. Vander's really cool. Uh, Grayson's awesome. She has an awesome voice, and I, it's super familiar to me. I feel like it's a someone... Who, I should look at the credits. I feel like, assuming she's in this episode, I feel like it's someone who's, like, really big actress that's not, like, a voice actress. I feel like it's an actress I've seen in live action, like, movies or something. But the voice is super familiar. Like I said, I'm pretty sure Milo is Yuri Lowenthal. Uh, I, I didn't check that either, but I'm pretty sure. But, um... I'm really excited for more Arcane, and it's a 40-minute episode, so uh, we're about to start it. Assuming I don't have to pause like multiple times or anything crazy to really discuss stuff, I should be able to do it in one cut. Uh, but the way I've formatted this, my post game will be where I uh, my post game for this episode will be where I do the cut to discuss the episode. But uh, yeah, like I said, I have about 55 minutes with my camera without having to cut, so it gets a little awkward with these long episodes but it's a lot less awkward than doing a movie uh doing a movie reaction which i do every month so you know 
Anyways, episode two of Arcane. Let me double check the title. I've already forgotten. Some mysteries are better left unsolved. Well, this mystery ain't getting... I guess this mystery is getting solved, or maybe it isn't. I don't know if this is the mystery of who did the shit in the, uh... The, who, who, you know, like, who was the, who was doing the job, you know, Vi, Powder, Milo, and the other guy, or if it's going to be about, like, the stuff with the rat at the end of the episode and those experiments. I guess we'll find out, so let's just jump into episode two of Arcane in three, two, one, and play. All right. Yep, I love this. Oh, uh, I can't tell if that was Jinx. It kind of looked like her. I'm pretty sure Powder's Jinx. But that was definitely not Powder as we know her. At the very least, that is, I think, it has to be really Old went to the Undercity to get these. Weren't you afraid? A little danger is worth the risk, don't you think? Oh, is this the other perspective? <laughs> Careful. That's your parents' money you're dropping. Hello? The Is other perspective, yep. Hey, open up! Jesus Christ! I'm sure he's okay. Jason, okay. Jason. Yeah, I heard her say Jason. Whoa, that transition, though. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, God, look at his fingers. Know if you're gonna get any help. Oh shit. I take it back. Epic looking traveler who's totally not a badass mage. Is that crystal like some sort of conduit for magic? Fuck. What is this? I'm going through the frickin' um Earth and the Moon. And the eye. What the hell? Um That was psychotic. What on earth? Really, really cool, like, glyphs on his fingers and all over him. Jesus Christ. He, like, teleported them to a different part of the world? Ow. A faceless mage. Oh. Oh, is that, is that the kid? Is that, um, I already forgot his name. Justin Martin, is that the, is that the, is that the person who grew up to be the scientist or whatever with all the gems that just got taken out? Interesting, interesting. Ooh. Very interesting. The fact that the theme for the show is Imagine Dragons is really funny. It further adds to the idea that this is, is just a series that just happens to be animated. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's totally Jinx. Although they're fighting each I just put that together. They're fighting that that was Vi on the other side. Let's go over it again. They're you fighting each other in the Relax, opening. Kid. We know it was a bacon, but that doesn't explain this. There's a lot of restricted items here, and I don't see any permits. You want to tell me how you got them? Hey, hey, be careful with that, please. I believe someone should have said that earlier. What happened here? Science, I guess. Last time I checked, science didn't require illegal equipment. Well, no, sometimes it does. By the academy. Who authorized your research? It was an independent study. Who are you, anyway? I'm assistant to the dean of the academy. Who it may serve you to remember is also head of the council. He sent me here to ensure that anything dangerous is removed safely. Which, according to my list, includes you. What? How am I dangerous? Yeah, that's for the council to decide. Fair enough. I mean, you still got your... Is that that original gem? It looked like it. Who's gonna walk in? Uh, what the fuck? Hello, little... Imprisonment. What a curious principle. We can find the physical body, yet the mind is still free. I do love a good conundrum. I remember the first time I saw you at the Academy. You reminded me of myself, a scientist, ready to forge a new vector of experimentation. But sometimes, we venture too far. No great science should ever put lives in danger. Yeah, it's fair. Be honest now. What manner of inquiry was this? Professor Heimerdinger, I... I believe I've discovered something truly incredible. A way to harness magic through science. Magic? Yes. No. No? The arcane is dangerous, Jace. A force of nature. The arcane. Science cannot control it. But maybe it can. I'm close to a breakthrough, I know it. How old are you, my boy? I'm... I'm 24. 24? Ma'am, my age. What? I am now 307 years old. That's quite a bit All older. All my life I've pursued the mysteries of science. Only to discover some are better left unsolved. Mm. This, I'm afraid, is one of them. Yeah, if it does Only get solved, the, council, the things that would happen. Was dangerous, but speak nothing of magic. Do that, and I theorize you'll get away with, um, how do you say, a slap on the wrist. Fair enough. That does suck. Ah, by training again. Oh, it has her score. Oh my god, all of the top scores are hers. I want to see who those bottom two were, though. That's Remind sick. Tell me why we bother with this dump. Vander said to lay low. Enforcers never come down I here, can't so read that. This is Clack. as good a place as any. Oh, what's the matter, Milo? You worried Powder's gonna beat you again? Hey, if she didn't keep fixing these things, I wouldn't keep missing. Nice. You guys know I wouldn't take you on a job you couldn't handle, right? Are you kidding? That was the best job we've ever done. Maybe just don't take powder next time. Jeez. God, gee, is a good shot. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ! Yeah, the problem is that she can't shoot anything on her on the jobs. She didn't get that opportunity. Get back. Tell me where I can find them. Top side of business ain't my concern. It's every one of you trenches concerned now. Give me a name. Damn. Hey guys, you should see this. Yeah, that's not good. That's not good. That's very... 
Inconvenient. Search them. Go ahead, idiots. We got nothing. Oh shit, yep, and off they go. Nice. <laughs> nice! Nice! Nice, yeah, that's a really good gun you got there, but that was pretty badass. I mean, I guess you know this place well, so that might give you a little bit of an advantage. Nice! There you go, exactly what I was talking about. It's something like that. I think it's small boy. Get shit on. You need to hide those crystals. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> yeah, no shit indeed. The House Pharaohs received Very your letter. Dangerous. They insist business is steady. Steady is stagnant, Allura. They wished me to remind Allura, you that it's huh? thanks to their innovations that you are the richest person in Piltover. Oh, yet I remain the poorest Medarda. Excellent choice, Counselor Medarda. A supreme challenge, if any. We need something revolutionary, Alora. Something to put Piltover on the map. What of today's trial? His name is Jace of House Talus. A house? Jace, okay. Name. They're toolmakers. I believe they came to renown for their design of the collapsible pocket wrench. Hmm. Huh. But Heimerdinger favors him? As far as I can tell. Hmm. This one. That's it, it, well, that's a child's toy. <laughs> Good. Interesting. The boy's got ambition. It's why we supported him in the first place. Ambition? Darling, he nearly blew up our daughter. Jace had nothing to do with that. He was robbed. Oh. We need to help him. Your daughter. Caitlin's right. We've okay, Caitlin. Besides, we're his patrons. If anyone is meant to speak up for him, it's us. We should hit them back. We've got the numbers to beat them. Yeah, let's teach them what it means to mess with us. <laughs> you sure that's what you want? Let's do it. We crossed that bridge once before. We all know how that ended. They're just protecting you, kids. I'm protecting our people. I'll do the same for any one of you. We look out for each other. It's the way it's always been. Sure. This will blow over. We just need to stand together. The Vander I knew, the one who built the underground, yeah. wouldn't be afraid to fight. Do I look afraid? No. You look weak. Oh! <laughs> Damn. Damn, he's gonna start losing he some control. Anything. We kicked the enforcers, but yep. it was just the four of us. Imagine what the whole of the lanes could do. Jeez, it is the lanes, okay. So why aren't we? Spill it, Echo. Uh, echo, Echo, that's okay, okay well, Echo. Um, Vander's gotta deal with the enforcers. What deal? He does have a deal with the Enforcers. That is unfortunately something they're going to have to... Oh man, I'm so curious how Vi and Powder and the rest of them are going to react to this. Oh, this cancel council Boy, is so posh. What the fuck? Oh, Mel, this is too kind. I'm told it was built only for the sharpest of minds. Oh, wow. And I bought you some ginkgo nuts. Ah, don't you know I'm allergic? What are you trying to do? Kill an old man? It'd be interesting if he's gonna pre if, if all he decides to go all in with his uh with uh blending the arcane with the science.
Oh, that's interesting. They close all the windows. Into the shadows. Into the darkness. And then what happens? What's... Jace Talos. The light? Yep, there it is. You are accused of illegal experimentation and endangering the citizens of Piltover. What do you have to say for yourself? Oh my god, that gear... The materials were far more dangerous than I was aware of. And I now know my actions were against Academy regulations. What I did endangered people. It was reckless, and for that I'm sorry. I ask the Council's forgiveness, and I hope that I can continue my studies. As Jace's patron of many years, I can speak for his character. I believe that one day, he will be a great contributor to our society. He destroyed a building! Is this the sort of contribution we can expect? If oh, you are a is he gonna, is he gonna talk about it? Prototype without breaking a few wrenches! <laughs> Do you have anything to show for your work besides an explosion? Uh, no. It came to nothing. So you're saying your study was meaningless? It was revolutionary. Revolutionary how? All I see is a boy meddling with things he doesn't understand. The Academy seems to have loosened its standards. This is a fine line. Oh, he's this gonna say it. Ridiculous. The Council has more in Why is the Academy <laughs> Oh, he can't hold it. I was trying to create magic. Yep. Well, that's... That's a thing to say. Magic! Arcane talents are something you're born with. They can't be fabricated. Actually, I believe it is possible. Has anyone even tried it before? That's a fair point! <laughs> the arcane is the curse of our world. My race was nearly destroyed by it. Surely we, the pioneers of science, can use it for good. We're the champions of discovery. Why fear it when we can master it? Yes, yep. enough. This is the city of progress. Think of the wonders we could create. Let me prove- Enough! You don't understand what's at stake. But how can you? That's a burden that only I here carry. Time. Oh, here we go. Story. You're going to talk about the past. So it's interesting. So it's like the arcane is like an ancient thing, and now we've kind of evolved beyond it. Yeah. Okay. Okay, okay. So I'm starting to get more of an idea of the lore of this world. Yeah. It must not. Heimerdinger is right. Piltover was founded to escape the warmongering of mages, not mm. cultivated. That makes sense. The ethos is clear. He must be banished from Piltover. Please let me speak. As a lower house, my voice doesn't carry much weight here. But as a mother, I have a voice that matters deeply. My son isn't in his right mind his no. entire life he's chased no. an impossible dream what he did was foolish and and unwise but he has a good heart please let him come home a crime like this can't be overlooked the boy must be punished a violation of the ethos calls for banishment but i can sympathize with a young man's dream to change the world perhaps in this mm. matter a lesser sentence may suffice. I move that Jace be summarily expelled from the Academy and remanded to the care of his parents. All those in favor? Oh! <laughs> four to seven, four to three. I mean, four out of seven is what I meant to say. But he is never to set foot on Academy grounds again. Oh, don't worry. The the rich girl's going to give him everything he could have ever dreamed of. Don't worry, bro. It, it, it's actually the opposite of how you think it went. That actually went wonderfully for you. Because you just piqued her interest, and that's all that matters. Well, you piqued her interest, and you didn't get banished. So it's a win-win. It's Oh god, it, what, oh did he turn the boy into the, what did he turn, who did he turn into a monster? Hello. First time I've been invited to the lanes, it better be worth my time. 
Uh, you see, that's your weakness, Marcus. You carry your chin so high, you fail to see the opportunity below. Who are you? You're looking for four children. The ones running circles round Pildova's finest. And what about it? No, don't look so concerned. I'm about to make your day. Is he the one he's gonna- Oh, okay, I'm curious now. I still don't know his name either. I'm sure he's some... Man, I'm so... I still remember the look on your face when you found these. Jace, please. If I hadn't spoken, you'd be lost to me. That picture... I had to say something. I don't... Magic saved your life. Yes. But it won't save yours now. You need to let it go. I could have convinced the council. If my own family won't help me, I'll find someone who will. Jeez. Yeah, I mean, especially when your own mom kind of takes that stance, it really doesn't make you look good. Yeah, I must admit, his theory intrigues. If dangerous ideas didn't excite the imagination, we would never wander astray. Could it work? Could these stones really invoke magic? Nonsense. It's far too unstable. <laughs> Could you stabilize it? Me? Why would I? That only leads to more problems. And that poor boy has enough of them already. There. Come tomorrow morning, his research will be safely disposed of. Lock up. Yeah, I don't... Oh. I don't think you're gonna let that happen. Of course it is. That's the point, right? Will he live? Long enough. Okay, so they are gonna do the experiment on it. Where the fuck are you? You're literally underwater. Okay, they are gonna do it to him, okay. Beautiful, aren't they? Yet up there on the surface. No one even knows they exist. Wow. They're monsters. There's a monster inside all of us. What? No. No, no, it'll kill me. I'd like to let you in on a very important secret I learned when I was about your age, boy. Let's hear it. You see, power. Real power doesn't come to those who are born strongest or fastest. It comes to those who will do whatever it takes. No, it comes to those who will do anything. Yeah, I knew he was gonna say something like that. Yeah. It's time to let the monster out. Oh, he just went for it. Yep. I love that. That's great. Jesus Christ. See what this does to a human. So I'm curious how they expect to control him, though. Like, how does. I'm curious how that serum works in regards to controlling the monsters that they let out. They won't see you. Your name's no good now. My dad says you're a misfit. And that we can't be friends anymore. Aww. So why are you out here? I'm a misfit too, I suppose. Nice. What will you do? Join the Talus Hammer business, I guess. You can't do that. No, I can't. Come inside, Caitlin. Now. I'm sorry. I just wanted to explain. I think you've done enough. Hmm. Uh. You said this was a robbery. Did they take anything dangerous? Hard to say. 
We don't exactly know what we did find, let alone what we didn't. This mention of magic has the people yep, afraid. of course. The culprits must yep. be apprehended. Yep. We're doing our best, Counselor. A little do you know you what Powder found. Makes me question if your best is up to the task. He was a lot we'll closer than you think. Don't worry. We've conducted exhaustive interrogations, frozen commerce for half the district. With all due respect, Counselor, don't you think we've pushed them hard enough? Do whatever it takes. Turn the other cities upside down if you have to. Just find them. But you're gonna start a war, and she knows it. Everyone knows it. Hey, from the intro, the jukebox. Welcome to the last drop. What can I get you? Four sump rats will do. Search the place. While you're wasting your time, how about a proper drink? I'll take the strongest shit you got. <laughs> the strongest shit you got, huh? That's really cool. It's a warning signal. Yep. And there's nobody there. Yep. That's a really cool warning, uh, warning that they have. They are there, but they're just hidden pretty well. Hopefully well enough. Oh, Jesus. That's gotta be nerve-wracking. friend of yours. <laughs> he had some stories. You weren't always the peacekeeper, were you? Yeah, well, you can't escape the past. Right? Oh, shit. Be a shame if I had to put them on again. Oh, Most shit. This hard to clean. Oh man! Shit, 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 shit. Close that damn door already. <laughs> I love that little look. You people down here are all the same. Mistaking arrogance for bravery. You think you're standing up for something? But we all know there is a crime behind every coin that passes through this place. You're just a small man in a little hole the world forgot to bury. We'll see about that. Jesus! I'm gonna bury the lot of you. Jesus. Oh. Oh. You all okay? No, we're not okay. They almost saw Powder. What if they took her? No one is taking any of you. Never let that. Yeah, that got really it's close. Happening. Yeah, we're damn near you heard there. Him. They won't stop. We need to fight back. Yeah, Vi's pretty much ready to fight. If you won't. I will. Oh, is that like I'll take your gloves? I've heard this kind of talk before. I wonder if Peacekeeper is his, like, name? Like, his 
Evander, I don't know, like, has, like, a... I don't know what to say, a legend name? I, I would bet money Vander is absolutely a playable character. Absolutely Vander... 100%. Why are you here? You still don't understand. What I don't understand is how you can work with them. We were mm. here, we saw what they did. I grew up knowing I'm less than them. That my place is down there. I want Powder to have more than that, and I'm willing to fight for it. That's a good reason. So I. I was angry, just like you. Sure. I led us across this bridge, thinking things could change. If I hadn't, your parents would still be alive. I know you want to hurt the Topsiders for what they've done to us. But who are you willing to lose? Milo? Clagger? Powder? Damn. It makes sense. The, what, yeah, what are you willing to sacrifice for what you believe Nobody in? Nobody wins in war, Vi. But at what point... Uh, but on the flip si do? side, at what point do you have to... The Enforcers will come back. I... I don't know. I'll, uh, I'll figure it out. Ah, uh, will you though, Vander? It might come to a point where you don't have any other choice but to fight. Oh, this has been great, though. I probably will be recording episode three right after this. Cause I know these were released in, in, in three sets of three, so I imagine each three-episode set is kind of like the, the first third. Uh... 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 The hell's your problem? What's that? Another list with my name on it? Actually, yes. But only because you signed your notes. Every page, I might add. A little egotistical, don't you think? Is that why you came? To insult me? No. No, I was... I was intrigued by what you said at the trial. That makes you the only one. Yes, well, I wanted to talk about your work. This Hextech theory of yours. It's not a theory. I saw with my own eyes what sure. magic can do. The lives it could save. You've no idea how beautiful it is. And now it's gone. No one believed me. Nobody's ever believed in me. Sure. A poor cripple from the Undercity. I was an outsider the moment I stepped foot in Piltover. Sure. I didn't have the benefits of a patron or a name. I simply believed in myself. Which is why I'm here. Because I think... You're on to something. I want to help you complete your research. No one thinks it can be done. I do. You're going to change the world. No one ever does. Ask for permission. Oh, that's a good way to put it. I mean, he didn't ask for permission before. All right, Jace. I don't even know your name. It's Victor. Victor? I bet Victor means something to League of Legends fans. Vi! Where you been? Rumor is the lanes are gonna fight. And of course, the reason why she doesn't want to fight. Look, for the Enforcers. These are smoke bombs, and those two are full of nails. <laughs> They're gonna work this time. I know it. Me too. Aww. Aww. She is adorable. You know, Powder. Wow. What makes you different makes you strong. Always remember that, okay? Wow. Is Vi gonna give herself up? What 
the hell were you thinking? Going into the last drop. Do you have any idea what you've done? I was getting results. You heard the council. You're a fool. There is no stopping what happens now. Maybe it's not too late. Yeah. Who sent it though? Was it Vander or was it Vi? Why do I get the feeling? It's symbolic! It's like the OP! <laughs> Nobody's here. He looks cute in that. It, it, a little weird, but... Juice? I'm gonna assume that's like orange juice or something, but it would be funny if he just gave her booze. Damn. That's not enough to... Hyper up right now. I, it's gonna, dude, it's gonna be Vi, isn't it? Yep. take a look at I that's a name I probably recognize her I just want to take a look at the names um, I'm looking for I wouldn't know his name though that's the thing I don't yeah there's Yuri Lowenthal I, I called that uh, I'm Josh Keaton I actually don't know many people in this, surprisingly. Yeah, Haley Steinfeld. Good stuff, though. Okay, yeah, we are we are done here. So let's uh. Turn that off. I might not actually need to make a cut at all. I, I, I have a bit to discuss, but I might be able to do it in 10 minutes. I probably will. Um, so that was episode two of Arcane. Some mysteries are better left unsolved. Interesting episode. Um, I will say for like reactions and stuff, this is an interesting one because I think this is a very, it's a very captivating series. And I think, you know, I think it was the case with the first episode. I think even more with the second where it's one of those where I'm just really into it and, and in a sense where it's kind of hard to kind of give my running commentary. It just has a different feel from really anything I can remember watching on this channel. It's a very, it's very engaging and it's very... It's hard to put it, but it, it it's captivating is the word I really want to use in a way where I I, I am I'm trying to remind myself to uh, talk for you guys. You know, give me a, give my reactions and commentary and stuff. But I am kind of just like into it. Uh, but no, it was a really fun episode. Really good stuff. Uh, really like dramatic ending too with Vi giving herself up to the enforcers. So. So I have a theory here. So at the end of the OP, it showed Vi and Jinx, who is has to be Powder, uh, fighting. And uh, so when I saw that, my I, I was like, huh, that's kind of weird. But then I, I thought about it. I was like, like I, I, my initial thought was kind of, oh, that's just symbolic. But I'm like that doesn't really make sense anyways. Um, 
so what I'm wondering, and this would be crazy, but what I'm wondering is, does Vi somehow become like an enforcer or does she somehow when she's taken and somehow she ends up on the other side of this and she, you know, she's trying to like prevent a war and powder because of her experiences as a kid. And most of all, the fact that Vi was taken from her and little does she probably know, or we'll see, but little does she know that it was Vi's decision too. But that might even give her the sense that Vi abandoned her. Powder then it becomes almost like the face of the lanes. And she becomes like their champion, their legend, so to speak. And she ends up leading a revolution. And it pins the sisters, sisters, but really their sisters, against each other. And that's where this is going. Because... I've been thinking about that. I'm still been trying to work out how this girl turns into what I've seen. Because, I, like I said, I've seen a lot of fan art of Jinx, and she's she has to be Jinx. I'm gonna be so I'm gonna be so salty if she's not, because <laughs> I will look like the biggest fucking idiot. Because all all the League of Legends fans might be laughing at me right now, but I'm like 99% sure she's Jinx because that girl is totally Jinx in the OP. So she grows up and because of these experiences and the fact that she's a, you know, like really smart and all put all that together, but this experience maybe breaks her a little bit and she just turns into like crazy a bit and it eventually leads to them being on opposite sides of, of the, of the city and potentially even a war possibly. It feels like this episode really brought together a grander narrative. Now, where I'm a little unsure about this is we have the dude from the lanes who's... we have I, I think the lanes. I'm not even actually positive he's from the lanes, but whatever. But the weird, creepy dude who took the bully from the first episode and turned him into a monster. So we have him who's working with the serum. And I don't know how that plays into everything. I don't know how that character is going to and and his experiments and his his stuff i don't know how that's gonna fit into everything um because obviously there's the the, the whole and even with this series being called arcane there's the there's the idea of the technology the science and magic you know becoming one in a sense with um jace's work so there's a lot going on here and I'm curious to see how it all comes together. But of course, we're only on episode two of nine. And again, with these episodes being, you know, 40 plus minutes, obviously, you know, they each, they have about four or five minutes of credit. So, you know, they're a little short on that. But still, they're very chunky, uh, content rich episodes that give us a lot of sauce. So I'm definitely expecting a lot of really saucy stuff. And I'm definitely expecting a lot of potatoes in these episodes. And I'm really curious. I think I've pieced together the story, like the, the the main story, quote unquote, or at least part of it. I think Vi, based on that shot in the OP, it feels like Vi and Powder, Jinx, whatever the fuck, are going to become adversaries. And this could get really fucking, oh God, this could get so good. Because if they're... Oh, I love stories like this. Like the, oh, if that is where this is going, which is, see, I don't know if I would think that if it wasn't for the OP, but like, I can't figure out any other reason why Vi and, and, and Powder Jinx, again, I'm, I swear to God, if she's not Jinx, I look like the biggest fucking idiot. Vi and, and Powder are on opposite sides. Uh, the other possibility is somehow is that is Jinx and Powder isn't Jinx. But if that happens, I will actually lose my mind. I will actually really feel stupid. <sighs> this is interesting. This is so interesting. Because if that's the direction this is going, then this is going to be such an emotionally resonant story. And these episodes, these early episodes are building things so well. Because what they're doing is they're setting things up to get so emotionally charged later in the show it's building because if that that in, in a sense that would be what these first two episodes were for and obviously they're building so much other stuff in the meanwhile but the big thing they're building they built that relationship between powder and vi and if if that is where this relationship is going 
Oh boy, I'm going to cry. This was an absolutely incredible episode if I'm reading the room right. I definitely think it was a step up. I feel like this episode, a little better in episode one. And again, if I'm reading the room right, I wouldn't be surprised if these episodes just keep getting more and more hype because they are stacking things on each other. The boxes are stacking a little bit higher and higher and higher. And if that keeps going, well, you know, we're going to hit the ceiling eventually and then we might break it. <laughs> so I'm really excited for where this show is going. I'm super interested in this show. Uh, this is kind of in a similar way to how I did Invincible. It's kind of like a side project where like I'm trying to record my normal stuff and then just do like an episode or two of this on the side. And that's probably what I'm going to do so I can get this you know, filmed within like a week, two weeks tops. Um, I'm probably going to record one more episode. I know these episodes were released in three sets of three. So I imagine episode three for me personally will be a great stopping point, but I do plan to release these as single episode reactions. And I know that will make you guys a little sad, but I do think even though I do like doing multiple episode reactions, when, when the shows are have these longer episodes, it's a lot easier for me to do this. And it is nice for me to be able to make some shorter videos since all of my videos pretty much, most of my videos are like hour and a half or longer uh, and sometimes even going as high as three plus hours. So it's it's nice to be able to make some content when it's like an hour long. Uh, so yeah, I'm probably going to stick with the single episode format. But uh, the first episode will absolutely be on its own. I think they'll all be on their own, but we'll see. But most likely I will be releasing each of these nine episodes individually. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the reaction. I don't know how good the reaction was, but the show, man, that was good. Oh, man, I'm so excited for this. I think it's going to get so stupid. Oh, I'm actually really scared for this. I mean, I don't think... I'm not that worried about Vi and Powder, but I feel like everyone else that's in this show I'm kind of concerned for. And maybe I should even be concerned for Vi and Powder. I don't know where this is going. I don't know anything about League of Legends, really. So that's the exciting thing. Like, even though I'm able to deduce, like, a little bit with the fact that I'm familiar with Jinx. Oh, by the way... And I probably will leave this in... I'll try to remember to leave this in the comment section for episode one. I... <laughs> Since I recorded that, I learned that Ari, I don't even know if that's how you pronounce it, is actually like a nine-tailed fox. It's like a fox girl. She's not even a cat girl. That tells you how little I know about this damn show. Like, what the hell? Because uh, that was like the other character that I've seen tons of fan art of. and But I haven't like paid much attention because it, it was a series that I, you know, I'm not familiar with. But uh, yeah, I this was awesome. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video. And uh, yeah, I don't really have much else to say. So anyways, uh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, without any further ado, it's time for me to bid you adieu. But of course, if you want to support the channel, you can check out the Patreon down below. There's also a Discord server if you want to hang out there. Uh, Flame and Shark signing out. Hope you guys have a wonderful, fantastical day. And I'll see you next time with another video. Thanks for watching. Peace.